Hi everyone, I'm Jamie Vaughn with Singing Muse and I am here today with our good friend Guy Penrod and Guy is going to tell us about an event coming up for Father's Day. Hi Guy, how are you? Hey Jamie, I'm doing great. It's a beautiful day here in Middle Tennessee. Good. Now how have your, you and your family been handling the shelter in place orders that we've had in Tennessee? Well, you know, I mean, we're a pretty big family, so um, our shelter in place has been uh, a party for the most part. I've put on a bunch of COVID weights, what I've done. We've been grilling food and, and having so much fun with our kids. We have a new grandbaby. Congrats. It's just four months old. Yeah. Our fourth born, Jesse and his wife, Gracelyn, had a little girl about four months back. Her name is Sayla. Mm -hmm. So, of course, all the rest of the kids wanted to be around the baby. So. Uh, we have had kind of a commune feel going out, going on out here in, in the country on our farm. Yeah. And our little town, Columbia, it didn't, uh, we, we were not really impacted. Thank the Lord. Um, I don't think we had, to my knowledge, we didn't have a case mm -hmm. that was reported, you know, when you're watching the news. Um, and we know a few people who were affected, their families were, but uh, we've been just graciously protected by the Lord. Mm -hmm. And uh, our kids have, and our, my wife's mother is our last living uh, parent on, on, on either side for us. So she lives here on the farm with us too. Oh, nice. So she's been with us and just healthy as a horse. And we're just thankful because the Lord is good. Good. And as an artist, how have you been filling your time during all of this? Well, that's a good question. Uh, you know, our our business was kind of the first one to just be shut down because you couldn't gather in a crowd. And we'll probably be the last business be, uh, able to open because of the uh, proximity, you know, the distancing issues. Uh, so it's been somewhat of a challenge, but it's been fun because the Lord has just kind of had us on hold and, and at peace. He's supplied completely uh, for us. And even though we're not touring, which is, you know, the main source of income for artists is when you're out on the bus with your band and getting in front of people and singing and hugging necks and enjoying the, you know, that type of work, which we love. Uh, that's that's how we butter the bread and bring bring home some groceries mm -hmm. but the lord has just supplied I, if i were to have the time to tell you the, the miraculous stories that they really are it's just straight up from god and he's saying relax rest i've got this mm -hmm. i have a work for you to do and it's coming and yeah. so that's that's part of why we're with you today is to announce uh a wonderful event that that we're going to start pioneering uh, in this mm -hmm. new normal, really, kind of for us. So that event will be Father's Day weekend, and it's called yeah. Concert on the Couch, a Father's Day celebration from the Franklin Theater, which is absolutely one of the most beautiful theaters in America. Isn't How, it cool? It is so cool. It is really neat. You go watch a movie there or watch a concert. And I know. That's the way to have it all set up. It's absolutely amazing. It's a blast. It was fun to 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 get in there though and and take a look at how we're doing it mm -hmm. we're going to be playing to the back wall essentially so right. we take the stage and then turn around with a back to an empty theater and oh. sing to the wall so uh it look it looks like a beautiful place though and and it's going to look fabulous and be um very engaging so it it's a blast so is this, it will be a live event that you'll be doing? Or are you pre Yeah, it'll be live streaming. Okay. So it's the kind of thing that we worked on already and put together, but it all went down at one time. So, you know, we wanted it to be, actually be live and feel live. So we're not you know, editing it all up, but right. it won't be something that you can uh, get up and leave and come back and resume, you know, pause and start. It's, it's going to go start to stop and then we're done you know it's a one-time viewing and yeah. it's virtual doors will open at 6 p.m eastern and people can sign up at guypenrod.com or concert on the couch.com correct either one um, and if they go to guypenrod.com they can just click on the the advertisement next to it, my big old head with concert on the couch on it 
just click on that and it'll take you through to our, our uh, homepage where there's a video explanation of the night mm -hmm. and uh, buttons for you to reserve an online viewing pass. It's free of charge. We're not requiring any donations to come in or a ticket price, but you do have to register mm -hmm. uh, and get your pass. And then uh, you can donate as well, which we've made available on our homepage and because this stuff's not free, but we realize that there's been difficult times happen and we don't want anybody to not be able to come and worship and sing good hymns and lift up Jesus together and hear the good news. Mm -hmm. So you come regardless. And those of you who can donate, donate, be generous. We have a, a wonderful ministry we're launching with this event too called Guy Penrod Ministries. Okay. And we're moving into to, uh, music and signing artists and publishing and books and films and all sorts of wonderful things the Lord's put in our spirit and our hearts and equipping us with relationships to, to start into. So we encourage people to donate if they can and be a part of the ministry. But if they don't have the money to donate, you don't hesitate. Come on in, get your bowl of popcorn, sit on your couch and lift up Jesus. Amen. So do you know what songs we'll be singing or can you give us a little idea or a hint? Yeah, we'll do some of the old hymns just because I love them. Um, we, you know, the old part is be, because they survived, not just because they're old, but they survived and they're good. Mm -hmm. So we'll do stuff that I'm familiar with and my folks are leaning on the everlasting arms, nothing but the blood. I surrender all and then worship songs that have moved me through the years. and. Um, lead us to the throne and some life music that uh, is just about living life and some of the Yather music that we've sung with the vocal band through the years. So it's, it'll be a night where people will know at least one of those genres worth of music and be able to join in right there at their house and let her rip. So oh, fun. Now, when can we expect some new music from you? You know, that's a good question. We're, we're in a time where, Music, you know, I come from that generation where I remember it being on discs about that big and they were vinyl mm -hmm. and pressed. Mm -hmm. So we had records. Then we moved to tapes, you know, the eight tracks and cassettes and then <clears throat> to CDs. And so transitioning in this time to this online stuff has been quite the challenge for the music industry as a whole, even not just rednecks like me, but even smart guys have had a hard time figuring out how to make music and get it out. Right. And so we're still in that, in that learning curve. And yet at this, at, at the same time, these, this pandemic shutting down our ability to get out and take music into the culture, it becomes kind of a catch 22 because if you can't get out in front of people, and fill up a bank account to then turn around and go out and spend the money to make a record, what you going to do? Right. So it, it, it is a, a challenge, but it's one of the reasons we're starting this new ministry too, because we believe people need to partner with us and enable us to create content. I just, uh, you know, my new records because I'm getting old. You know what I mean? Look at this hair. Mm. I don't want to have to get out there and and beat the bush all the time and then just look at my head we want to sign new artists and some kids that that uh, have the fire of god burning in them this generation is alive and well and they're ready to storm the gates of hell they believe in what they believe in and the spirit of the lord is in them so we want to enable them and give them a platform to get out there and and then to mold and shape help help them know where the potholes are because we do these older guys yeah. and then disciple and get them ready not just throw music out against the wall and hope something sticks right. but purposefully get out there buy our way into the marketplace mm -hmm. and put the good news of jesus in front of people in good music with good kids who are out there doing that put the books out put the movie out write the right songs sometimes you have to influence culture by showing culture right. what is right and what is wrong what works and what doesn't work right and usually it's an older generation that knows the answer to those questions because they've lived a while mm -hmm. so we're gathering some folks who have a lot of experience and training 
young ones to bring them up and to have that energy to go out into the culture and shake it for Jesus. So the answer to your question is I'll probably crank into a record here toward the end of the year. We've been gathering songs, but uh, I'm not in a big hurry to do that. My heart is really pushing toward uh, discipling and enabling and uplifting and, and, and giving kids and new guys an opportunity to have a platform. That is very, very exciting. I can't wait to see what doors God opens there and where he leads you and what artists he brings to you. So I'm, I'm really excited. And I'm sure we at Singing News will be talking more and more to your artists then and, and talking about books and films with you. So that's exciting too, to see what we can do together as well. So, but as we wrap up our, our conversation, I would love for you to be able to leave a message of hope to our viewers. Is there anything that you would want to say? Absolutely. You know, the spirit of the Lord is moving right now. And even though there are difficult circumstances going on worldwide, you know, the virus is not the only one, although it really did shut us all down and, and cause us to take a serious pause in order to try to um, stem the tide of, of a horrible attack. And I believe it to be that. Um, but there's unrest all over. Um, there's unrest obviously in our nation right now, and there's been a lot of injustice and there are feelings and emotions and hurts and how do you deal with this stuff? Right. Yeah. And I believe that the answer is in the person of Jesus, period. He's the one that fixes us from within. Um, I've heard it said along the way and it's true. You show me someone with an experience and they will always win an argument is because they've had an experience. You don't win people with arguments. Right. And you don't win people by pointing fingers at them. That's not the challenge. That's not the problem. The problem is sin. And sin has been dealt with on the cross in the person of Jesus. So we've got to lift him up. And his word says, I will draw all men to me as you lift me up. So we lift up the person of Jesus and we do it in all formats, whatever we need to do that. I would encourage you to get, get good uh, Christian teaching going on your TVs, on your, on your uh, laptops, on your devices, uh, spend good Christian music. Um, and when I say Christian, I mean, things that come from a biblical view for living. It doesn't have to come out of CCM world or singing news world or your church. Um, it can be Josh Turner singing long black train, brother. It can be Randy Travis with three wooden crosses or Carrie Underwood, you know, or um, a, pl a plethora of choices. Um, but, but sink your teeth into the good news because it's, it's vast. It, all the party songs, all the love songs, all the relationships on every, every bit of music ought to come out of the people of God. Yeah. They don't leave regrets. It doesn't leave, you know, hangovers. It doesn't leave bad decisions and, and the results of that. And so I would just encourage believers to believe the word of God. Let his word be true. The Bible says, and every man a liar, mm -hmm. right? He also says, I can't lie. And he says, I have given you the same power that dwelled in me when I got up from the dead, Jesus speaking, the power to pull down strongholds mm -hmm. over every principality, over every ruler of darkness, above, below, all around. Mm -hmm. He says we battle not against flesh and blood, mm -hmm. but against principalities and powers. And realize that we actually do have power. We can wield it in the spirit. And it comes out of our mouth and things change because we are the children of the most high God in the earth sent here to change the culture around us and to affect uh, healing, to set the captives free, the Bible says. And so my encouragement to you is realize these are exciting times to be alive at, at no other time in my lifetime has there been such a poignant example of our need. We are, we are needy creatures, we humans. We sometimes think we've got it figured out and in times of peace and affluence, that kind of at, uh, attitude seems to prevail. You know, I don't really need anything. Right. 
But when something like this hits us, we realize our frailty and our inability to cope with, you know, some of the most basic things. So the Lord says, what do you do? My ways aren't your ways. Turn to me, call on me, and I will come to you. I will help. So I'm telling you, call on the Lord. He will supply. He doesn't fail. He is for you. He loves you. He's not mad at you. He even likes you. This is not from him. So kick it out. It's a trespasser. These difficult things are trying to steal, kill, and destroy. Am I right? Amen. Yep. And who is the master of that? Satan. And who's been given authority over him? Not the politicians, not even the the law enforcement side, not the attorneys, not the doctors or the surgeons. The people of God have been given the authority from God to them to take care of this stuff. So I would would encourage you, um, call on the Lord in prayer and speak out his health, his healing, his deliverance, his victory, his overcoming whatever it is that you're facing, whether it's an addiction, whether it's a broken relationship, children who are having trouble, um, lack of finances in this time, your job's gone. You call on God. He is able to do it. He's able to send things miraculously to you. And then you let these people know that are getting this word out like CCM and you today singing news and tell them about, you testify and tell of the goodness of the Lord and watch it encourage and flood the earth. In Jesus' name. Guy, thank you so much for taking time to talk to us today. And everyone, make sure that you go and you sign up and register for a concert on the couch, a Father Day celebration. And it will be at guypenrod.com or concert on the couch, January, or not January, we're not in January, <laughs> June 21st. And right. register so you can reserve your seat. And Guy, thank you so much. I'm really, really excited to see what happens next for you. Thank you so much. I appreciate the opportunity to do so and God's strength and blessing on all you're doing. Thank you so much.